Hello, hello, YouTubers. Welcome back to Unique Beauty Hair Salon. My name is Maria Macagbo. For those who came across this video for the first time, yes, welcome back. So, today's topic, I'm just going to share with you my experience, my 12-month experience since I become a hair salon owner in Bolton, Manchester, North Manchester, Lancashire, UK. Yes, 78 Brashaw Gate. This is the salon. This is the where you come, you get fast service and everything goes smoothly. No waste time. Come on in. Let me show you in. Look at that. Clean. Yes, guys. It might not be luxury shop, but we're trying to provide a service. So we got everything that you need when you come in the shop, guys. This is what all the shop is about. Yeah. Because we don't want when you come, you start asking, oh, you don't have this. This is all this. This is all what this shop is about. But you can get what you come for. Yes, we can. This shop can get you the job done. Yes, we can get the job done, guys. So today's topic, like I said, I'm just going to share with you my experience for the 12 months since I opened a hair salon in Bolton. It's not an easy one. It's very difficult yes so please guys i'm sorry for the images that i use my lovely customers yes i don't use this to point that it's you exactly it's just when it this topic it gets into me and then i said i have to talk about it yes guys because it's tormenting yeah it's it's putting me off with this job and i love the i love to be a hairdresser i love to help people you know i love to 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 make people look good just because I love to look good anywhere I am. Yes. So this is why I open a hair salon. Just to give you a, a, a good service. You know. With a passion. I work with a passion. You know. When I even touch your hair for the first time. You see the difference. How your hair will go massively. Yes. Because I do this with my heart. I don't just do it for the money. No. There's lots of things out there better than this I can do for money. Boys, because I do this for passion. Like you saw earlier on, I undo a two bridge she came with. Now I'm helping her with the extensions to choose the length, the color she would like. Yes. So once we finish with that, I'm going to start to do a box braid, which will take me about six hours. Yes, it took me six hours, my dear. As we all know in UK, we paid by hours. You go to work, they paid you by hours. The minimum wage is here right now, I think, is like six to seven pounds an hour. Yes. And this is a service. It's a service and talent, you know. So once I finish all I have, I will tell her the money she should pay. Mind you, before you sit down, I already tell her the money anyway. So she paid the money. Yeah, she's going to pay the money. Yeah, it's just some people when they come, you finish and they will start telling you, oh, I don't have money. It's not enough. Despite you already told them, it's 60 or 70 pounds I'm charging for that. They will still say they, ha they don't have money, you know, which is not really fair to me because I'm running a service. The end of the month, the landlord wants his rent, you know. The end of the, the, the month, I have to pay for electric. I have to pay for the service. I have to pay myself. I might have one person that will help me in the shop. I have to pay her something as well. I have to give her something. You see, sometimes some people, they will book an appointment and then they will not tell you exactly what they want. For an example, like I said, I'm using this video, this image is just to show you. I'm not using it to shame anyone. Please, guys, I'm sorry for those that I use on this video. Yeah, so... You came in for your appointment and you didn't tell me exactly what you want. You might tell me one, you leave the other one. And then you came into your appointment. Mind you, you don't, you don't know I have another appointment waiting. Because it's a service, like I said. We have two to three appointments a day. And we don't just put them the same time for you to sit there wait for one another. No, we give you 12 o'clock or we give you 9 o'clock a.m. Or we give you 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. To give us that time period to finish your own hair. So if you tell us that you want braids and then you came with your hair, it's looking like this. 
you still had the old braids from three months since you had it. You know, it holds me back. That's three hours of my time I could have been doing your box braids. You see, three hours. Then on top of that, you, you, you don't want to pay. You tell me, what am I doing in there? What am I doing in the shop? Is it a free service? No, it's not a free service. I took the old crochet you came with. Then now I'm undoing the hair. I'm losing the controls. Once I took the controls out, I will have to go step by step to detangle the hair because you had it for three months. You don't have no clue what when you kept your hair for three months, what goes under there. It's tangled. It has build up. You have to comb all those build up to take them out. To be honest, then afterwards, I will have to wash your hair. You see, take off. Um, when you take off, we charge for that. Then when you, you, you undo the controls, we charge for that. Then look at the detangling I'm detangling. I have to charge you for that because you kept your hair for three months. I have to take charge you for that. Then after then, I wash your hair. I have to charge you for that because I am using my physical strength. Come on, guys. I am using my physical strength. My shoulders are killing. My feet are killing. And we, most of black people, we have flat feet. It's not really good for us to stand for long. It's not. Some of us, our, our feet are flat. It's not nice for us to stand long. And I'm standing there for 12 hours. Then you expect me to close the shop without charging you what I want? No, I have to charge you what I want, guys. Please, come on. This is a service. People have to pay for the service. Yes. So you can't come like, like I started before. You can't come to, for, for an appointment for box braids that you come in with your hair looking like that. You didn't take it off. You didn't wash it. I will have to charge you more because you come in without telling me what you want. I have to charge you more. So in case if I'm going to miss the other appointment, you cover for my time because you took my time. So you have to take, you have to pay for that. Now I finish the box braid. To finish that box braid is another six hours. Then untangle your hair. That is another three hours. Depending if you're not fast. You see, with me now, because I'm fast, people want to take the advantage I'm fast. Come on, I'm using my muscles. I'm using my physical strength to do all this job fast. Because that's what I use. I use my physical strength to do it quickly. You don't know the pain I'm going through while I'm doing this. Yes, I know things are hard right now with the quarantine, the corona, everything. But please, we just have to help each other. I opened this shop specifically for black people. I didn't open it for white people. It's for black people. So if we are not paying for the service, what do we have at the end of the day? You need a salon where you can go and have good service. Somebody will look after your hair. Somebody will care for your hair. Somebody who tells you how to care for your hair. Which kind of product is good for your own hair? Texture and, and priority. Everything. I am there for that. I am helping you. This is one of the one reason why I open a shop. Because I used to go to, to all the shop in Bolton and help people to do hair. To, to, you know, when they have appointment, they book for me. I go do their hair. I see their service. It wasn't great enough. I said, there is no one here to help we Africans. This is why I decide to open one to help all my Africans, beautiful African sisters. But to be honest with you, it's not worth it. People don't want good stuff, especially Africans. We don't want good stuff. We just want something free. Whenever we want it, we go there. It's free. We don't want to support each other. If you're expensive, they don't come to you. If you're cheap, you're giving them poor service. They like it. And the end of the day, they, they, you know, after you finish the hair, the hair is looking bad. It's look, it, it, the hair is breaking. The hair is dry. The hair is looking really horrible. They just like it. They don't like good stuff. You know, most people pay for my service. Yes, I raise my hand up. 
most of them they paid this video is for the people that who doesn't want to pay for your service they just think it's easy when you give your time six hours that's half of the day gone I have my family at home. I have to pay for bills in my house. I have to pay for bills in the shop. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Please, Africans, let's change our attitude. This is 2021. Come on. We're all working in this country. We're getting paid. Look after yourself. Look after your hair. A, 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 beautiful, a beautiful person is your hair. Look after your own hair underneath. All these Brazilian, they're fake. Look after your own hair. Sometimes you just want fresh hair to go onto your hair. I do all these extra things for people when they come. You bring your old hair. I will comb it out for you. I have to stretch in it. I'm using electric. Some people do pay for the service. I'm just using all these images here to show example. But they pay for the service. So it's just for people that who think hairdresser they don't have PhD, so they should not be paying. They should not be paying them the money. No, you're paying for the service. You're paying because it, it's worth it. You see. Yeah, even when I was at home, I was even more expensive than ever. Now I'm in the shop. I'm not even expensive. When I was at home, I was expensive because you know what? I used to have my other job. If you want, you come. If you want, you don't come. But now, this is only my job. People think you should pay cheap. And they're making you to be cheap. You know, I'm losing interest with this job. I'm just giving it a year. If I don't see anything good, I'm going to shut it. Because as we black people, we just like free stuff. So let's just go to those other shops that don't care for your hair. All they do, they do, you go, you pay for doing your hair. If you want to pay for weave, you pay, they do your weave, you, you pay, they do your box braids, that's it. The, the end of the day, you go, your hair will be breaking. They don't want nobody who gives them good service, we as black people. That's why we could not build Africa up to today. Because we hate ourselves, we hate our colors. We don't want, nobody want to go extra miles to make something good. Other people want to pull it down. You know? I'm just making this video to share my experience. It's really rotten. The way we behave, it's not good. Everything has to be cheap. Everything has to be uh, 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 free. How long are we going to live like that? Free, free, free everywhere we go. I'm using water. I'm using electric. All these furniture I have to pay. When I started with this shop, this shop I start organically. Just because I don't want to be in debt. I I bought the chairs, I bought the mirrors, I bought all the 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 the, the equipment I'm using, straightener, hair dryer, you know, hair straightener, everything. This the, the hot comb, I have to buy it. Like now, if this lady she's doing a, 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 a treatment, I have to buy the product. Then after then, I have to pay for myself standing there doing it physically. Because for an example, if you want to go and do it at home, you have to buy the product, just like I bought it. And then you cannot massage it like the way I'm giving you this treatment. Come on, guys, please. Look at what that happened with this corona. Some people lose their life. They leave everything. So take care of yourself. Don't be just using money to send home, taking care of other people. To be honest, these people we take care of at home, they live large. It's just most of you are not going home. For you to go see the way they live large. They go to the hair shop like this. They pay. In Africa, when you go to the hair shop, you pay. They do that. All this water I'm using, I'm paying. I'm paying for it. It's not free. The other day, it cost me £2,000 to pay for the electric. Is it free? It's not. So at the end of the day, what am I taking home? I'm drying your hair after washing it. It costs. You see, you see what I pay is step by step. It's not to the landlord alone I'm paying that. I have to pay the landlord. You come here, I show you how to treat your hair. How to maintain your hair. I'm fast with my hands. My hands are blessed. When I touch your hair, your hair goes like that. My free pay, I don't even make your hair tight for you to... To have a uncomfortable day with your hair. Your hair is it's free with you when I do it. It's not tight, you know, pain free, everything. 
if you come here buy your wigs i showed you all what i'm using in the shop i'll tell you go home and use it because i know it's expensive but when you required for my service to be honest i worth it you have to pay for it please guys africans let's change our attitude it's not good we don't support ourselves you go to this asian shop now to buy your cream you go there they don't show you how to use it you might go there to buy it they show you to buy the wrong one they're making money out of us while they take that money they go to uh, 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 their own country they build it they, they don't come to you to 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 buy unless when they want to borrow they will come to you they know oh my african shop is there because they want to come and take credit but when they go to other shops, they pay full money. They don't go for credit. If the day they don't have money, that's the day they come to African shop to give you credit. Or oh, give me credit. Sometimes I will go to Diva. I will see lots of them there buying stuff. Just because you put 50p extra, they will not come to you to buy to you. But when they want credit, they want to do their hair cheap, they come to you. Please, guys, me, when you come to that shop, what you pay for, that's what you have. If I charge you with the picture you showed me, you don't give me that money. To be honest with you, you pay, you pay less. That's the less, the less hairstyle I'll do for you. I'm not going to go extra mile for that. I won't go extra mile for any black person anymore. You come, you paid 30 pounds. I give you the 30 pounds hair you paid for. You come, you pay 20 pounds. I give you that. If it's one hour, I will take that one hour and pay, you know. Look at this little girl. When she start coming, the edges were really bad. I told the mother to just do, do exactly what I asked her for six months. To be honest with you, this is her hair. She haven't relaxed her hair for the whole year now. Before every year, she, she relaxed her hair. Since I opened, she was the first customer to come. She always come. If if they close us during the quarantine, she'll wait until I open. She bring her look at her edges. She always buy my handmade cream because it's soften. You can't go and buy something that will just soften your hair now. Then tomorrow it goes back normal. This is what I'm trying to teach them on my YouTube channel. Nobody watches it. Then you come with your, your hair in the shop for me to wash it. I will send you home. If I charge you 30 pounds to wash your hair, you don't pay. I will send you home. You go wash it. After your hair washed, you come. I'm not giving no free service in that shop anymore. If you don't look, watch my videos, I'm showing you all the, the treatment, everything. The, the products you should use to maintain your hair. You don't maintain your hair. Don't come to that shop you think you're going to have free service. Don't bring your child. You don't wash their hair. You have to wash their hair at home. I got a lot of videos, simple treatment you can do at home to wash your child's hair. Don't expect me to wash it. If you bring your child, you don't wash her hair, I will charge you. If I'm not doing anyone's hair, I can make my wigs just like so. I can sell them old, 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 old sales price. I can sell them and make money because I'm using, with, I'm using my time productively to make money. Because if you are going to do your job, they pay you. You don't go there to do it for free. Yes, I can make my wigs and sell, guys. I'm not making this video to shame anybody. It's just my experience, what I had. I had enough. I'm, like I said, I'm just giving this shop a year. If people don't change their attitude, that will be it. When they cancel appointment last minute, when you start telling them that why you do that, they said you're giving me attitude. Which attitude am I giving you? You cancel last minute. I'm telling you that I forgot to tell you that you should pay deposit. Now you're telling me attitude. You paid for everything. Look at that floor. I paid for everything. Thanks for watching, guys. I will do part yeah, two. Yeah, I sold everything. You see, sometimes look at this. You bring your hair, it's dry. I have to take my time to wet it and do everything, guys. This is just too much. It's too much for you to think I'm not worth what I want. I really want what I want. If I charge you, please just pay it. Using my cream, oil, water to make sure your hair is good for what you come for. Comb it, you know, oil, oil it, the scalp for you. I do all those extra. I went all extra length for you guys just to make sure you have good hair, pain-free you know, people are looking for people who care for their hair and who does their hair without no pain. 
I am telling you, if you people find people like that, they can pay anything. And you that discover me now, you just take me like I'm nobody. Yes. And from now on, my services are changed. I'm not saying anything a lot. I don't want to give anyone no bad attitude. I'm just going to be very strict with my services. Look at Ghana weaving. Very pain free when I do it. Take my time. This took me six hours. Why do you want to come and pay me 30, 40 pounds for the six hours job? Thanks for watching, guys. Please support my channel. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. This is all I'll made. I'm selling them very cheap for people that will like them. Thank you. We'll keep up on this video next time. Thank you.